Herkese merhaba. Öncelikle. Öncelikle e, oturumumuz tamamen İngilizce olacak. Şimdiden e, keyifli ve e, güzel bir yayın diliyorum. E, hello everyone. I want to e, I will talk about little bit myself. E, my name is Tuba. I'm a e, I'm graduated from Pertemnia High School at 2020. I'm a member of Pertemnian e, Pertemnia Mentorship Program at Pertemnia Alumni Association. Uh, I'm a student at Bezmalyan Vakıf University at the moment. Uh, that's me. Welcome to the Partemnia World Wide Session. Today, Leslie Robinson is going to be our guest. Uh, she is an English teacher at Royal Canadian of uh, Royal Canadian Institute of International Study (RCAS). Uh, she has taught English to many Turkish people, also including me. I am her current student uh, at RCAS English Speaking Class, uh, by sponsor sponsored by. Uh, Pertemnia Mentorship Program. Um, let's get to today's schedule. Today we will be talking with her about the education and education life in Canada, why the students should choose Canada for study abroad, why Toronto and why RCAS. Uh, as you know, we have a special drive going on. RCAS Toronto uh, schools give free online courses to three people as prices. Uh, the drive will continue until this uh, Friday. Uh, if you didn't join the draw yet, please do so uh, do so as soon as possible. Not this uh, miss this chance, because if you are uh, lucky, you may win. You know. Uh, and also, we have a good news for you. Uh, today, we are going to have one more uh, surprise prize for you. Uh, one of the viewers will get a prize one week free online English online English classes at RCAS, and. If you have first answer, first right answer uh, to Leslie's questions, and also Leslie will ask during this uh, this session. And before I connect Leslie to our session, I would like to remind you uh, to subscribe our YouTube channel Pertinian TV. Uh, the reply of this session will be under will be there uh, the Pertinian uh, worldwide session under the Pertinian world. Worldwide session, and also I think Leslie is ready and uh, she is connect. She is waiting for me to connect her. Hi, hi. <laughs> Can you hear my voice, Leslie? Perfectly. English is um. <laughs> good work. Good work, Tuba. <laughs> and to everyone who's uh, watching, this is great. No, oh, thank you so much, and I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy to see you in this session. Mm. And how are you? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here talking with uh, one of my lovely current students, Tuba. And uh, I'm so happy that also we have the internet. Imagine going through a pandemic without the internet. This is so great that we can still connect in this way. And thank you to everyone who's joined us today. This is great. And how are you? Uh, I am good. And everything is all right. And still, you know, and it's very good. I can say it. And also, I try to do introduction about you, but it would be great if you can tell about yourself and who is Leslie. I know <laughs> very, very lovely people, but very per person, sorry. But uh, could you please uh, tell about yourself a little bit? Sure, sure. Um, so, yes, my name is Leslie. I've been teaching English speaking classes at RCIIS, uh, this International English Language School in Toronto, for almost five years. Um, and yeah, I, I know that sometimes my students are curious about where I am from. So uh, one of my current Turkish students, like Tuba Eslem, asked me the other day, Leslie, are you Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I, I am born and raised in a city called Waterloo, which is pretty close to Toronto. So I've lived my life in Ontario, Canada. And outside of teaching English at RCIS, I'm also a theater actress and perform in comedy as well. Um, so I have a variety of interests. Also for RCIS, I lead uh, social events for students. So before the pandemic, I would organize uh, field trips where we'd um, explore interesting parts of Toronto. And now I'm offering online social events through the school. And I also contribute to the social media at RCIS. So yes, that's me. 
And it's time. very nice. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your answers. And also we uh, prepare a lot of questions for you. And shall we, shall we start for the uh, next one? First one. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. How has been your experience with Turkish students so far? Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> yeah. So, of course, I, I love my dear <laughs> but I, I don't have any cultural bias. I love my international students equally from any culture. Mm -hmm. um, but I can say I've certainly enjoyed getting to know students from Turkey. They add a lot to our international classroom. Um, often at RCIS, we've had a lot of Turkish students during the summer months of July and August, I think because they are taking a break from their university studies at that time. Um, but now that we're providing online English classes, we have Turkish students more consistently throughout the whole year, which is really nice. It's nice that although there's a dramatic time difference between uh, Istanbul and Turkey, our morning classes and our afternoon classes have been working for Turkish students to attend. So that's great. I find that uh, Turkish students are really um, generous participants in the classroom, um, really curious about meeting other cultures, very polite, uh, pretty outgoing. Um, I don't have to work too hard to get <laughs> Turkish <laughs> And I think Turkish students also come with really nicely balanced English skills. I think I think they get good uh, English education, really nice kind of foundation. So then when Turkish students study with me in Canada, I, I can really help them um, through sort of correcting little grammar mistakes or pronunciation mistakes and build on their vocabulary with more native English speaker expression, um, sometimes idioms or phrasal verbs or um, more colloquial kind of slang expressions. So I can really kind of um, work from their great foundation that they already have learned in Turkey. Um, yeah, so I've, I've really enjoyed learning uh, about Turkish culture and their experiences in Turkey through, through my teaching yeah so we love turkish students <laughs> we <laughs> love you too love all international students <laughs> yes of course and my other question is uh, i would like to ask you about canada uh, why should students uh, especially turkish students uh, choose to study in canada if they would like to study abroad yes this is a great question um so i uh, i'm biased being canadian but i do think uh, I do think I can say objectively that Canadian English is a nice sort of average or middle ground or happy medium of English sort of between British English and American English. So uh, British and American English have different pronunciations sometimes, different spellings, different expressions, and Canada uses both of those. So uh, that could be a little confusing <laughs> to students, but it prepares you to have sort of understanding of a more kind of international English, I think. Um, I also think that from what I've heard from international students, Canadian English is, uh, our accent is quite easy to understand. It's fairly clear. Um, and sometimes it can be harder to understand the British accent or Australian accent or other accents of English. Um, so I think for that reason, Canadian English is a really nice way to study English. Um, as for the country of Canada, uh, I think it's, it's a beautifully multicultural country. Um, throughout the country, um, you will find values of uh, tolerance, open-mindedness, um, inclusion for uh, people who are diverse in many different ways. Um, so Canada is a country full of immigrants and by virtue of that we're very welcoming um, I'd say to 
uh, international travelers, international students, um, and immigrants were very used to that. Uh, so I think that international students can can immediately feel welcome, um, safe, uh, cared for coming to Canada. Um, you can feel like you really fit in and belong and, and you're uh, a natural person there that you don't stand out. You really fit in. And uh, I think that's really nice um, because it's scary to go to a, a very different country, very different culture, um, different first language spoken. So I think Canada can be um, comforting for people coming from different countries. Um, Canadians are used to speaking to people from different cultures every day. So you don't get treated like you're different um, or less than, um, I'd say, compared to maybe perhaps other countries. Toronto especially, downtown Toronto is extremely multicultural and diverse. So um, Toronto especially is a great place uh, to visit. Um, Canada is also a very green um, uh, country in terms of uh, it's, it's doing well in terms of not being too polluted compared to other countries. Um, the sky is very blue. Uh, the air is very fresh and clean um, for breathing. Um, and uh, the environment is protected in a nice way in Canada. There are a lot of areas of wild nature. Um, there are parks of every government level, municipal, provincial, and national parks, huge areas of protected nature for people to enjoy here. Um, so that's also a really nice aspect of coming to Canada. Canada is also known as a very safe country, um, comparatively low crime rate. So I think that is an uh, advantage for especially young students who might be nervous traveling abroad. Um, I feel I've lived in downtown Toronto for over, over 10 years and I walk at night alone and I feel <clears throat> very safe even in downtown Toronto when it's dark. Um, Canada also provides very affordable living conditions and um, education costs. So compared to some other countries, perhaps in the US or the UK, um, it can be affordable for students to study here. Um, and also there is uh, a standard of excellence across Canadian schools, colleges, and universities um, that is unique. So um, in some countries, you have to really worry about going to the best schools. Um, and there's more of a gap or discrepancy in quality between different colleges or private versus public schools. Whereas Canada, you can trust that you're really getting a good um, or quality education at, at any college or university that you attend. Um, so that's, that's really nice because um, it's hard to know uh, the hierarchy of schools in a different culture. But in Canada, um, I would attend any of the colleges or universities and feel very confident that the professors, the curriculum, the school experience is all going to be of a, of a good quality. Yeah, so that's my, <laughs> that's all my many things about uh, why I think Canada is, is great. But for... That's very nice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and my other question about uh, Toronto, you talked about a little bit, but anything you would like to add? Uh, why should the student choose Toronto? Okay, yes, Toronto. Um, yes. Great. So uh, I, I love Toronto. As I said, I've lived in Toronto more than 10 years. My, my entire adult's life after university. Um, I, I think it's, I think it's the greatest city to live in the world. <laughs> of course, I've never been to Turkey. So maybe my <laughs> change. Um, but uh, yes, I think it's, it's such an exciting 
um, place to be. I love Toronto. It's commonly mistaken as uh, the capital of Canada, which I think happens probably for people who, who are not familiar with Turkey, right, Tuba? Like sometimes people will guess that Istanbul is the capital of Turkey because it's a big city, right? Yes, it's kind yeah. of. <laughs> yes. So, other situation. So sometimes people will think Canada is the capital, but mm -hmm. Um, but Toronto uh, is the big city. It's the exciting city. It's the fastest growing city in Canada. It's a center of finance, business, arts, and culture. Um, so people really want to live, work, and visit Toronto. Um, it's uh, Toronto has, has consistently ranked high in um, lists of the most livable cities uh, in Canada or in the world rather. Um, so it's uh, seen as a really, really nice place uh, to live. Um, Toronto also offers uh, a large number of both public and private colleges and universities and other educational institutions. So international students have a lot of options in Toronto. Um, all providing a really excellent quality education. Uh, the transportation system in Toronto, although people from Toronto like to complain about it, um, it's actually very uh, simple for people from other countries to figure out um, how to use and how to get around to Toronto. So it's a very simple kind of north-south east-west subway system and it's also a, a fairly um, safe it's a safe transportation system so you feel um, safe traveling uh, alone and at night uh, anytime during uh, the day and then public transportation um, there's tons of interesting places to see in Toronto because it's the big city um, it attracts all the festivals especially in the summertime there are arts and culture festivals happening every single weekend. Um, it's really a fun, fun, fun city. Lots of activities, um, always to try. Uh, it's also, Toronto is located on uh, Lake Ontario, which is uh, a beautiful and very large lake. Sometimes students think, oh, it looks like the ocean because <laughs> it's so large. Um, so Toronto does have some uh, beaches. It has some islands just off the shore that you can take a ferry boat and visit um, that are parks. Um, so there's a nice variety uh, of kind of forested natural areas, uh, big lake, rivers, um, as well as the urban big city atmosphere full of arts and culture, uh, big art galleries, museums, tourist attractions, um, and then, of course, festivals. Uh, great international restaurants, too. Um, <laughs> and, and also Toronto's location allows you to travel to other interesting Canadian locations pretty easily. It's sort of central. And um, often students want to visit Niagara Falls um, because it's a very famous place. Um, so you can take a bus easily or drive to Niagara Falls or the greater Niagara area, which is beautiful. You can um, often students take bus trips to uh, Quebec or Montreal, which would be a very different cultural experience in that sort of French atmosphere. Um, also to the capital city of Ottawa, see the parliament buildings. Um, and Kingston is also a beautiful um, historic city um, that's not too far from Toronto, which was original capital city. Um, so you can really experience Canadian history, culture, and nature um, very easily uh, from Toronto's location. Uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's all I can say about Toronto right now. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I have a more question, uh, one more question. How does, it's very good question, I think. How does RCS stand out from the other schools in Toronto? 
Okay, yes, the, maybe the most important. Um, yes, so uh, I have been working at RCIS almost five years now. And uh, the staff members uh, and the students often talk about the RCIS family. I think because it, it began as a, a small school and it has maintained a, an atmosphere of friendliness and close relationships uh, between students, uh, teachers, counselors, and other staff members. Uh, we really like to keep in touch with our graduates. Often we'll have our graduates uh, return to our school the following year um, or their siblings or friends. Um, we really like to keep in touch uh, with our our ever-growing students community. Um, I think that's because our class sizes are small. The teachers and students really get to know each other um, very well. And, and so you create quite a close bond. Um, and also, I think that the staff at RCS are very happy working there. There's really nice work conditions. So um, if you have really happy <laughs> teachers and counselors, uh, it, it makes the atmosphere just really relaxing, friendly. Um, everyone's excited to be there each day. Um, nice, because studying English is, is often hard and boring. So um, if, if the people you are learning English from are really excited about it, of course, it's easier for students to feel like, this is not work, this is fun. Um, uh, so yeah, I think there's a special kind of warm, friendly atmosphere at RCIS. Uh, counselors and teachers are always around and um, willing to help students with um, their questions and concerns and really support them, um, not only with studying English, but uh, adapting to life in Toronto, you know, the various complicated um, parts of visas and um, agencies and uh, homestays and all these details that students might be concerned about. <clears throat> uh, RCIS also has a really kind of fun um, social atmosphere. Uh, so there are lots of extracurricular activities for students. So um, before the pandemic, um, we would have you know, parties uh, related to various cultural holidays, Halloween costume parties. Um, we'd have international food parties where um, the Brazilian students could show off their Brazilian food or Turkish students could show off Turkish food. And um, so lots of really fun social events. I, as a teacher of um, an English speaking class, would uh, have a monthly field trip where I'd take my students to see Toronto City Hall, or I'd take them to experience a classic Canadian brunch meal and teach them about ordering eggs in different styles and that kind of thing. So um, we try to give students a lot of fun experiences outside the classroom as well, introducing them to Toronto life, um, Canadian culture, um, now that it's a pandemic, uh, we try to maintain that fun through online events. Um, so I lead a bi-weekly, which means every two weeks, free conversation club where international students can talk about interesting different topics. Um, we've had online themed parties, um, sharing food or music uh, and various things like that. Um, and hopefully, you know, we're, we're, we're excited for, for life to return to normal as, as soon as it's safely possible. Um, but also in our classes, I still feel like in our current online classes, students do get to experience um, Canadian culture through listening to their Canadian teachers um, who love Canada, who love showing... Um, images and videos of beautiful places in Canada, um, fun English Canadian expressions and that sort of thing. So um, 
too, but you know that at the beginning of my class, I often share the big news that's happening in Toronto or Canada. So I still want to offer students online the kind of a broad experience. Um, they're also getting that, of course, because our students are from very diverse cultures. Um, that's always been the case before the pandemic. You'd be in a class at RCAS with students from Brazil, uh, Peru, Mexico, Japan, South Korea, China, um, Turkey. Um, but now online, you have students from all those different cultures, but they're actually in their country, which is also amazing. You can see um, their uh, home. Sometimes we can show each other on camera our backyard, what is the weather like? So it's almost even more international <laughs> experience now um, because we're seeing inside various cultures um, through our video cameras. So that's quite amazing. RCIS um, provides some kind of classic styles of English instruction. You have um, uh, more traditional English classes that work from a textbook um, going through uh, all the skills in our pre-academic stream. Um, but then we also have a variety of more specialized English classes that are maybe more unique to our school. So um, our English speaking classes have always been very popular because <clears throat> often students from other countries have studied grammar and vocabulary a whole lot, um, but they haven't been able to practice their speaking and listening uh, as much as they'd like to. And that becomes very important when you're suddenly in a new country um, and you don't wanna be Google translating every moment um, when having a conversation with a native English speaker. So the speaking classes um, have won awards in Toronto and are, are beloved by our students. We also have um, a very unique and interesting class that we call STAR, um, which is a accent reduction um, class, uh, speaking and accent reduction um, class that focuses on the production of uh, sounds, English sounds. And so it really focuses on pronunciation, um, working with the international um, phonetic alphabet. So uh, if pronunciation is an area that you have had not a lot of time to focus on, um, that class is very useful. That class also has a section of it um, that uses dramatic techniques and dialogues to practice English speaking. Um, so that's a fun uh, alternative to a more uh, traditional class. Our, our physical school is very aesthetically pleasing. It's very beautiful. Um, the, the classrooms feel spacious and bright um, with beautiful <clears throat> windows and beautiful wood floors. Uh, it's, it's a very attractive school. Um, and even now with uh, our online classes, uh, we've maintained small class sizes so that students get a lot of personal attention, a lot of feedback um, from their teachers. Uh, so, yes, that has been maintained online as well. Um, <clears throat> also, for Turkish students, um, it's nice to study abroad um, online or in person with a very international class because um, it's nice to talk to people from different uh, cultures, to train your ear, to listen to different accents is a very useful skill. In Canada, I, I listen to people with different accents every day. So um, that's the way the world is going. And um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's a very rich experience learning about different cultures um, and speaking to people from different uh, languages as well. Oh, and also uh, I've heard from, from our Turkish representative, Osman, that um, RCIS has promotions for Turkish students all year round. Um, so that's also another benefit uh, for Turkish students. Yeah. Whew. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very nice. And 
can we say is RCAS is a family, is a big family, I think. It's a, yeah, it's a big, beautiful family. Yeah. Yes. And I finished my all questions. And if you want, uh, shall we uh, continue our uh, surprise price questions? Right. Well, actually, I, I was going to add also that um, oh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, saying earlier that Turkish students have a really nice foundation of skills. And I think mm -hmm. um, international students sometimes worry that they don't have enough English um, for a study abroad experience. So I just want to reassure um, any students who may be watching that whatever your skill level of English, it's, gr it's great, it's fine. Um, you can definitely study abroad. Um, we offer um, every level of English from the very foundation. Um, so whatever your, your previous English experiences are, you are perfectly fine to come and study with us. Um, and in fact, we offer a free English level assessment test as well as a free trial class. Um, sometimes you're nervous about free nowadays because it always feels like nothing is truly free, but honestly, there's no obligation, no pressure. So um, don't feel shy about contacting us to just see what it's like to try it out um, because our online classes are 100% live. So your teacher is right there with you the whole time. So it's very different from what um, online classes used to be. Um, you're not just left alone <laughs> with a textbook. So, uh, and our prices are better than ever right now. So I really think um, if you haven't tried an online live English class, there's, there's nothing to lose by trying it. Um, just so you know what it's like. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's what I, I wanted to say. Yeah. There's nothing to lose. Um, and you're very welcome to contact us and there's no pressure. Um, we'll just try to help you and try to show you what our classes are like. And okay, I'll, uh, shall we continue the questions? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, yeah. so I'm asking the question right now for the chance of the prize, right? Yes. Is that right, Tuba? Okay. So this is this is not the the main draw, which will happen on Friday. This is just a little additional contest and prize that we're doing for to thank you guys for joining us today. Um, so I'm going to ask a question and um, anyone who's watching can answer by typing it, the answer to us, sending the message. And the first person with the correct answer will mm -hmm. win one free week of English classes through RCIAS. Um, so are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the little hearts popping up. I love Instagram Live. <laughs> um, great, lovely. So uh, the question is, what year was RCIAS founded or established? What was the first year of RCIAS? Ben de kaçıranlar için tekrarlayayım. Oh. E, sorumuz RCIAS hangi yılda kurulmuştur? E, i̇pucumuzda e, dernek başkanımız Osman Gültekin'in mezuniyet, Pertemiyada mezuniyet yılı. Oh, someone's got it. Loud of laugh. Yes, it's the first right, I saw the first right uh, answer is Loud of Love. Loud of Laugh, what a yeah. great Instagram name too. Congratulations, Loud of Laugh. Yes. I see the first person to respond was Loud underscore of underscore Laugh underscore one. Yes. <laughs> 99, which... Um, I also heard from our Turkish representative mm -hmm. Gultekin that that was the year he graduated from uh, this this high school, which Tuba tried to help me pronounce yes. this. <laughs> Artevniel. It's very good pronunciation. Yes. My Turkish, by my bad Turkish pronunciation. <laughs> It's very good, and thank you so much. 
Oh, it's been a pleasure talking with you, Tuba. Um, I'll enjoy having class with you in in about an hour. And thank you for everyone uh, watching our uh, uh, sections. Bye. Thanks Bye. for joining.